right so we have a, a topic here kevin samuel says marriage is a duty this was on the lapif network right so lapif network is also a community that i rock with what i like about them is that it's a discussion okay it's just a discussion just people talking uh a lot of heated arguments right and um but it's fun watching them uh, anytime i get a chance to catch uh, uh, small clips like 10 minutes clips the long the long um five hours uh live streams are too long i don't have time for that but i appreciate them cutting it into pieces like this so anyway let's attack the topic kevin samuel says marriage is a duty and lauren is open to arranged marriages so i did another video on on our channel on arranged marriage and why it is not going to solve your problems um arranged marriages polygamy <laughs> right um domestic discipline god forbid right like they described the other time those things are not going to solve your problems okay um if your relationship skills are trash they're just trash okay um what really makes any one of these things work if they ever work are the underlying relationships that's it okay but some people need to talk for five hours to figure this out or some people need to listen to a live stream of five hours to figure this out i can respect that that's why they're getting fifteen thousand views on a video okay somebody says i was slammed months ago when i started the conversation about arranged marriages for black women <laughs> uh no family structure for age for eight you got 80 percent coming from female households no training and no father training and discipline you need a family before you can set up an arrangement there you go that's a good point right there if you don't have family how are you gonna have arranged marriage so people were talking about arranged marriages and uh, and they actually started to confuse it with uh, matchmaking it's not a matchmaking there are bigger reasons behind arranged marriages and it has failed many people in India where they actually practice it as a matter of fact i just had a coaching session this very afternoon where it actually failed a person from way back when so this is actually a person telling me about her parent that her arranged marriage failed where she ended up in a toxic situation with her older men that she was arranged with so again when you want to talk about some of these things don't forget to talk about the downsides of it if you're going to talk about nuclear family versus extended family or let me say nuclear versus versus a polygamous family right make sure you talk about the strength and weakness of each one before you make a decision don't just go with don't just come from the standpoint of the grass is greener on the other side you will always fail that's why a lot of people are failing relationships too because they're always coming from a standpoint of the grass is greener on the other side the grass seems greener on the other side because somebody is watering that grass that's it and that's why okay that's the grass seems greener on the other side because it's actually green probably because somebody is watering that grass so if you don't learn how to water your own grass you could change systems you could change context all you want you can change the container where you belong your culture your religion you can change all of that if you have trash relationship skills you're going to have a serious problem well it's not for the older women okay it's for the younger women 18 to 28 okay and it should be only for the older men that has proven record of resources okay so now this is another element to it right okay because nobody's gonna hand in, in an arranged marriage type of society and no one is gonna be comfortable handing off a, a child usually a child 14 13 year old girl over to somebody who doesn't have resources i know it starts to start sound disgusting already right so again you're talking about a different society altogether and when lauren with this young lady on the, this young lady on the show she was talking about she's open to arrange marry i'm not sure if she knew what she was talking about or what she was subscribing to right uh she doesn't know and um that's why they get into this heated argument from time to time let me see the marriage is a real business in amira's culture the father is the first line of defense for his daughter when she is young father brother so also when amira is talking uh, it's like because i have that same experience too with nigerians 
you have a lot of Nigerians who grew up in America. They try to speak for what the culture is, and they usually they usually failed by attempting to do that. Because there's a context. There's context matters. You can't say, uh, "Oh yeah, this is how these things," and you don't understand the full context. You're always going to fail, or try to tell people what they call certain type of people, and then you take it completely out of context. You're always gonna fail with that. Context matters. So when Amira tells me, and she's telling me how arranged, which is not really an arranged marriage, by the way, uh, it's just basically her seeking the consent. Maybe not necessarily consent. But the approval of her father before she could talk to a guy that's not arranged marriage when she was talking about that i respect what she's saying but i take it with a grain of salt because she's so young she won't necessarily understand the full context of what we're talking about here right so i agree with arranged marriage when i became muslim and noticed the massive difference between modern culture and islamic tradition of arranged marriage not forced arranged See, again, arranged marriage, what, what may have made, made arranged marriage work for the people that are in it is their agreement, their fact that they are in unity, right? And the fact that somebody subscribed to the thing, you can't just force people into it I don't want to do it. That's not how it works. Then you'll be missing the point. It won't be arranged marriage at that point, right? It's strategic and has better outcomes on the bigger scale versus sleeping around and hoping. So again, this is judgmental. This... Sleeping around can be true in the same sentence as arranged marriage. There are people in arranged marriage that sleep around. You didn't know that, did you? Yeah. See, again, when you talk out of your ass, right, you missed the point, right? You don't understand the full context. Don't speak on it. Don't speak on it. Learn your own culture. What is going on with your own culture? Try to master what may be missing in the underlying relationship. Not the structure per se. It's like trying to leave communism and going to democracy without understanding what gave birth to democracy in the first place. You're gonna fail. You need to understand the deeply rooted differences that made this country went the direction of com. Uh, what do you call it? Is it communism? Well, the, whatever South North Korea practices, right? There's something deeply rooted in their tradition that made them go that direction. Sure, you could call it dictatorship. Or democracy there's something happened here hundreds of years ago toxic blood or not that made us go in the direction of democracy you may look on the surface it looks like one is working better than the other but in order for you to implement it properly into your system you need to understand as much as possible about the context and if you don't do that it will fail because again relationship skills that are trash remains trash regardless of what container you put it in as a matter of fact if you take it to another container it may be much more explosive because you're now in the middle of a situation that you don't truly or fully understand right so now the, to, to speak to the topic itself uh kevin samuel said marriage is a duty sure you can define marriage all you want as a duty the reality is that it's not a duty okay people today 2021 get into marriages when it feels good Okay, and there's some things you can teach people how to make it work without trying to shuffle down their throat that it's a duty. What I know is that the more you call it a duty, the more people want to run away from the idea because it feels like no freedom, right? Uh, are they wrong or right? You're right, they're wrong. However, telling them it's a duty does not help, right? It doesn't, it's not helping matters, okay? You need to... Um, uh, we need we need to settle that let that settle in before we start to shuffle down people store that marriage is a duty there's a reason why the bible paints the narrative that marriage is a duty it's a form of structure that people have to subscribe to first that automatically creates the freedom and the unity that that, that any marriage needs to survive calling marriage a duty does not automatically make marriages survive if anything it makes people feel more like they're in a bondage right but if you expand on marriage is a duty, why is it? Why should we make it a duty? Why should an individual make it a duty? Should be the topic. What are the reward system? What are the rewards behind treating marriage as a duty? That is more of the conversation we need to have, as opposed to slapping people and, and, and giving them a domestic, uh, what do you call it, uh, discipline, uh, lashing them lashes of cane. Hey, it's a duty. 
that's not gonna work in 20 to 1 1 because people are enlightened and you can't do nothing about that you're just gonna complain and complain and cry and wolf about it it's not gonna change anything so we need to be we need to use some some wisdom when we're talking about these things I personally treating marriage like a duty sure why Let's talk about the why. Why? What's the reward in that for me? Short term and long term. If we can't talk about that, it's a useless statement, essentially. Mm -hmm.